man we finna go over some more nba 2k 25 rumors they saying you're gonna have kobe bryant skins hundreds of affiliations a brand new rank system that is devolved brand new items and reward system brand new build system and nba 2k 25 can have a hundred thousand vc arm sleeves what they got going on and a lot more but um before we get into all that y'all make sure y'all like up the video man it helps young swan bro we react into head of the next makers video the new annoying tv see the top games that you see up here are all free to play games when i say free to play basically what that means is you can get on the game and you don't have to spend a dollar and you can play right all of these games has it's the same method 2k be using Y'all don't know 2K be uh, faking they sales, getting jutsu in they sales, their downloads and all that by making the game hella cheap or damn near making that big. That's how they control their overall. Then those users that download that, they gonna spend some bread. It's like, damn, they can't play unless they spend some bread. They gonna eventually figure it out. Like, damn, I don't wanna be a 60 overall forever. It's not working out. <laughs> it ain't working, my boy. Like, I, I'm not having no fun. I can't play with my friends. No one will play with me. I'm gonna start spending some money messing up. They're not gonna go to the uh, right YouTubers or probably none, because they probably think they him. And they're gonna figure out they build his trash and then they're gonna go down the rabbit hole, you know? Shell out 300 like that and then quit the game. So this is what I suggest, okay? Now again, this is just my humble opinion. I have no backing in 2K when it comes to this. I'm just an old head sitting here just speaking my opinion. And that's all it is, it's just my opinion. And everybody knows opinions are like, everybody got one. And again, I have an opinion, okay? So the first- Pause, I'm saying this. First thing that I believe, all right, that 2K should do is allow the My Player Builder to have templates to where every single build is absolutely free. So an individual can come on the game and start off at whatever level 2K decides desire to be. If it's 85, mm. it's a uh, 99 overall, which I believe it should be a 99 overall. So say for instance, like the 2K League, it really has a good foundation, a 2K League. 99 overall, free to play game, template build. There's no way in hell they would. Do y'all think 2K would do that? <laughs> do do y'all think 2K would do that? Let me know, y'all let me know. Y'all think 2K will go free to play Free starter template builds, and that'd be 99 overall. Bruh. <laughs> that is crazy. I was looking at this article, and they said that free-to-play games, they include a lot of things about supply and demand, and this is what really pushes pushes the whole agenda, right? One of the um, peers, and we'll go through them all, and I'm gonna show you right now. The first peer says, items, rewards, and currencies that are highly desirable, okay? So, basically, what we could do with NBA 2K, we got all our free players, right? Now we include items. This is how 2K can make their, their money, right? Items, rewards, and currencies. Well, they already got the current currency part right they have the vc right the visual no, the, the visual currency already but items and rewards now see this is where things can get very very good for 2k because the items and the rewards that they select will be twofold the items will be for the casual player rewards and the items will also be for the competitive players 2k kind of you know dabbles with that a little bit with the arm sleeves and this type of deal but remember everybody has template builds and that type of sort right so yes adding arm sleeves now could be very critical but the arm sleeves obviously have to have more value the arm sleeves would then cost a certain amount of, 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 of VC to be able to get. So this is how 2K can Man, still make their money, right? So an arm sleeve could be, you know, 100,000 VC to be able to get. Arm sleeve 100,000. Gimme, what the talking about, bro? What the f is going on? <laughs> Yo, what if this is leaking a future 2K, bro? These arm sleeves out here, 30,000 ish to give you like plus five on ball handling yo the, the michael jordan shoe plus five on acceleration and then it's behind the season pass bro, they they gonna get us one <laughs> they gonna do it dog bro we're in a session like what what's going on bro like just make a fun game bro why why they gotta keep milking us uh. a plus two plus three um three ball shooting or, or whatever like that like, you know you have those type of deals okay same thing for like takeovers okay takeovers you have to spend a certain amount of that remember we're doing free to play entry but more Damn, we're gonna have to buy our takeovers. <laughs> so everything we had in past 2Ks is just gonna be taken away and we're gonna have to buy them up. God, all live has to do is just make an old 2K. That's all they have to do and they will destroy K, bro. They will destroy them, man, easily. They don't even know it, bro. That's all they gotta do. Make the gameplay like 14, 15, 16, 17, or 19, even 20. They will just destroy. They'll, they'll change the whole market, my boy. 
remember, it's not it's still gonna be play to win right like you know we're not gonna be able to get away 100 from that so you know 2k wants to still make that money so we'll still allow them to get that but allow everything else we currently have in the game that will cost money but little timmy if he just wants to get on the game and play he can still play with with you know with whatever he you know he doesn't have any money whatever that but you can make the decision on whether or not that's the money you want to spend okay so items rewards all that that we currently have make that be a la carte payout and you can be able to um buy your arm sleeves for it to, to become come uh, more competitive and that type of deal okay the next one says participation in rare experiences rare experiences for us in 2k would be events okay being able to go to these different types of events now 2k does events a lot of them are what i can say put you in situations where if you want to get the top rewards it is going to um basically it's cheaters right i don't know anybody to say it right there's cheaters so how do you circumvent that right if you know people are going to be cheating Man, then it should just be you know you play the event individuals that like you know say for instance are the top 10 maybe they get recognized with an emblem as a top 10 but it's not going to be anything to where the rest of the community cannot get the pay to play or the rewards that are really going to be desirable because those rewards should be for everybody so for instance you know you have to hit a certain amount of points and you get all the rewards and everything like that right you you know if it's like i know some, some what is this talking about bro now make events even more useless to where just everyone gets the reward this participation trophy can't have exclusive rewards dude what is what is wrong with this community like he's a next maker saying this like how don't they know that people want it? that's what made them special not everybody can get this reward right how don't they know this like if you get some cool reward and then the whole community could get it why would you want it get a cool reward season one then everyone can buy it why would you want it i don't get it bro this should make no sense how don't he know this how they have rewards listen guys here's the sauce here's the sauce guys for the rewards you gotta make exclusive rewards for whoever's at the tippy top then you know a gap of people below the tippy top and then another gap below that exclusive rewards and then a bottom for everyone right there but there should be cool dope rewards on all levels and the exclusive one should be more better and they should be cool, but they should, everyone should have access to really cool, dope rewards, right? But there gotta be exclusivity or there's no point for them. 2K won't be great until the gameplay is addressed. The game speed is too slow. How can they not notice that? I'm pretty sure that's by design, bro. They trying to uh, make this as a casual and accessible as possible, bro. Trying to get those, um. What's uh what's that game with Kratos? Trying to get them uh story mode guys to come over here and you know just hold square and find success. They want to pull that community over here and just make this whole take no skill, bro. That's their goal. But why still limiting the tippy top? The games right now, I think it's like 300,000 points um, in these current events, and then you'll be able to get like the jersey and all that type of stuff, right? So make that to where everybody can get those. And then the top 10, they're the only benefit they get from being the top 10 is just maybe like an emblem or something, right? Because we have to circumvent the cheaters. So if cheaters are just really fighting just to get a top 10, reward Adam, that's great. Look, here's what you do you ban them. Just ban them. Why not ban them? Why can't they just ban them? If you know what event's coming, this is how you can really crack down and ban them. Just console ban them. What's the problem with banning it? 2K16, what's the problem with banning it? Events gives a good opportunity to really show, yo, if you cheating on this, we're banning you. Why not just ban them? You see someone shooting half court over and over again, every play, hella contested, ban them, right? Why, why, why doesn't 2K ban? Like, can they get sued for banning people? All you gotta do is just console ban a good portion of cheaters. Then everyone else is gonna be scared. They don't wanna get console banned. Or can they not console ban? Does anyone know? Even if they just ban the account permanently, that would do something. 2K15 wasn't straight cheese, bro. Does anyone know? They used to con, why, why don't they just console ban cheaters, bro? I don't, I don't understand. If they're gonna make it to where top rewards don't matter and they're just gonna give them an emblem or based off what he's saying why don't they just why don't they just ban console cheaters like like console ban them. i mean it's, it's not like it's a lot of people 99 percent of you have probably never played versus cheater bro it's below one percent of the community it's like point zero 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 one percent of the community that's cheating right so why not just console ban them? i don't understand that would fix the, the cheating issue. Yeah? 
Am I tripping? Like, I don't, I don't see why they don't do that. I think less people will be mad. But right now, the reason why everybody's so mad about the cheaters currently in events is because they get um, unlimited boost where we know that those people at the top 10 cheated, right? And now they have a massive benefit. Well, if you take that away and make it just a cosmetic, and then the community as a whole can still be able to benefit from the whatever reward that 2K thinks of limited boost is not going to be one. They don't get a massive benefit. They just spend less money on the game. Because guess what? You could just go buy all boost or Gatorade. So it's not a massive benefit. It's just they, that those guys just don't have to, like the rewards not, you just get unlimited. As in, you don't have to spend money no more, but someone else could just buy the boost. <laughs> so either way, they still gonna get mad, bro, because they wanna win. What is Demi talking about, bro? I don't, I don't understand. Like, dude, don't he be talking to creators? Like, I'm pretty sure like most creators, like they, they understand like what's going on. Like, how does he know this? I'm so confused. How can he be the head of next makers and not notice? I'm so confused, bro. These newer 2Ks are cheesier than those 2Ks back then. You can't tell me one that's dribbling like uh Steezo and them uh, old 2Ks, so you lose. Hey, uh, timeout DM for 600 seconds. But maybe it's something where now the value of having, you know, a plus 50 boost, because remember now boost costs money, right? To be able to continue to purchase because remember every single build is free now. Then of course that would be a good reward in my, in my opinion, right? The second, the third thing it says remote learning locations and or deep progress into the storyline. Now this is huge because I know this is where the community split down the middle and I, I really am not the guy smart enough, but maybe you in the comment section can tell me. The storyline for 2K has been more watered down because a lot of people have been skipping the storylines. We just want to get out there and play, right? 2K needs to find a way. If you look at Call of Duty, you look at, um, um, Apex, and you look at these other games, every single season, Fortnite, definitely, every single season in the beginning, you get this long, massive scissor rip, you know, this movie type buildup of the storyline for this upcoming season, okay? 2K has more themes. I want to call it a storyline. It's more of a theme, like, you know, a theme for season seven, a theme for season six. But if you make it into a storyline to where people are emotionally connected to that, right, and find a way to tie that in, because this is how you can keep retention, right? Tie that in for that season, then you can be able to add more things within that. When I say more things, we're talking about clothing, we're talking about more um, um, attribute boost, boost, or. That's a good idea. W Demi. W Demi. I don't know if maybe I'm reading what he said wrong, but if the name made up in my career, you get more my career within the seasons. Or new character skins. Um, when I say character skins, maybe you know the, the themes Kobe Bryant, or so you know, maybe the things like you know, I don't know, man. Like there's smarter people in here that can come up with a theme. You know, the, the Lakers theme. And so for that whole season with the Lakers, you're able to get like unique um, awards and perks by you know playing to be able to get like the Lakers jerseys or Kobe Bryant skin, or you're able to get like the Kobe Bryant um, arm sleeve, or you know just different things of that sort. That way you can build a nice storyline to people who are really involved and want to be able to get these these items that are only available just for that season. Just how it is, kind of like and again like with Fortnite. I keep going back to Fortnite because they have hit this on the head ridiculously well. Okay, the next Rito boy, your mom suck deep. I just make that constantly. It says being recognized as a top player. Now, this right here is where a lot of issues are because this year, theoretically, you can argue that NBA 2K is recognizing top players by the top 10. But let's just keep it a stack. By only having 10 people in the whole entire world being recognized as a top player when you have millions of users, to me, is just an astronomical small piece, I guess I can say, right? You want to have top players be recognized. So, for instance, it has to be a point system. Like I said, starter, I mean, veteran three should have been the top players. The reason why I say that is because if you play rank mode in all these other games, okay, um, again, I go back to Apex. You play rank, you're a predator, predators. All you have to do is just maintain hit a certain a certain amount of points um, within that and you become a predator. It's not like there's a cutoff. If you want to be a pred, you can be a pred, right? Or it's just a tier system to where it's attainable to have and it's not just a handful of people, okay? Because again, top players like myself, the reason why I didn't even play the game as much as I have for 24 was because when I realized only 10 people could fear, like, you know, hit legend, quote, quote unquote, with by being top 10, I knew I wasn't gonna be playing on the game that long to be able to maintain just top 10. Yeah, but then, then you have something to do with so you lost that retention of me and a lot of other players that put a lot of hours in this game because they try to hit legend every year, right? You lost that because I knew I wasn't going to be a top 10 player. So because I'm not going to play that game that many hours. And then on top of that, when you hit top 10, you have to keep on playing to maintain your top 10 position. That ain't going to work. Okay. So again, that's why I believe you got to be able to have this? the top 10, the, the, the legend rep come back to where anybody and everybody can hit legend by just hitting a certain hitting legend three like it was this year or like it was in previous 2Ks. I feel like 2K20 was awesome. I played the hell out of that because I wanted to hit legend. Anybody can hit legend. You had to hit the amount of points that was. Do only play 2K. English paid. I don't know what the f saying. English money. Please stop eating the flies. Hey, give this prod an hour, uh, hour ban. Needed to hit legend. That's what they need to go back to. And then, of course, you see right here it says memberships and good teams, social groups, and builds. Now, this right here is what I'll I don't care how many accounts you have. Lame. They're not scaring me, loser. We'll call the uh, 
what's the best way I can say this? Because I don't want to say like um a lot of people, you know, right now we currently have affiliations. And um affiliations right now, there's not really much. I mean, there it's they dabbling in it, right? They dabbling in it. But what if you had like a lot of memberships or affiliations that you can be a part of just by the way that you play? You earn that. You earn that. You earn that by being a quote unquote strap guy. You can be a strap guy. Lost. I'm that nigga out, man. And that nigga. By having a certain amount of steals and now you have an emblem and you're part of that affiliation you are able to get like a you know very special oh. donations very special um emblem icon whatever right but you can also it's almost like it, like in the military you can get different type of badges as you play because based upon your play style you get that and that allows you to become part of that elite thing so for instance if i want to be really known as a really good lockdown then 2k can add all these different um special badges and recognitions that you can get not just an affiliation to so where you just automatically get on play but you grind for those by getting a certain amount of steals certain amount of blocks hit a certain amount of three pointers um yeah. you know just all these different things so then when you're playing with somebody you're like dang like home dude got this badge you know this emblem this emblem like this dude really can play defense or he's like yo he's an all-around demi guy this man got you know this this for like amount of contact dunks or whatever it is and then now yeah. you become part of the membership this is elite memberships that you have to earn throughout the game sweat equity that you're able to get by just playing and to me that is what i would consider a better affiliation and not just throwing you in one that is a type of new affiliation system leak 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 that seemed cool. I mean, but you still can have normal affiliations upon normal affiliations and new affiliations. Tight seem cool. Um, uh, uh, bat memberships social groups or whatever you want to call it that if that was in 2k i guarantee you a lot of people are going to group together and be like yo we want to be these people or you can see so like yo what are you doing bro like she's over here trying to get you know this i'm trying to get these steals i'm trying to get you know these teardrops you know i'm trying to get this i really want whatever and then maybe after you hit a certain amount of them you get a very 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 cool reward you know you're already part of this group this this you know this team of individuals within the community and then you know maybe 2k gives you something that's really dope that you'll be able to get all in all like um i don't know a special skin so remember, everybody has that so maybe you're able to get like you know kobe bryant skin or whatever you know something right um, i'm just throwing ideas out here okay um the last thing says customizing your presentation to other the players in a special way and i think that this is very important that kind of falls in with the things i've just been talking about right customizing your presentation your the way that your presentation is from season to season from week to week from month to month it does it needs to continue if you want to have the retention and you want to keep your competitive players in your community active you need to continue to have different things you can't just throw events and think and that's something that's going to be exciting follow. about for everybody because unless you know those events go to like i said where you know the top 10 percent which we know are going to be cheaters they just get like an emblem or something but everybody can play the game and know that all i gotta do is say 5,000 5, 500 000 points you gotta put in the time win certain amount of games and i'm able to get the rewards that people value the most and then those individuals at the top 10 until you find a way to stop them from cheating then you know they just get like a nice little badge like you know more back in 2k no don't work like that get the tippy top some nice rewards and give the bottom bottom some nice rewards you gotta be better rewards all around 19 we want like top dog you got like a little top dog emblem that you can put on your banner right that type of deal something like that to That's where it's new. not gonna not just the same old f unlimited skill boost like add some new to it Give him a special mascot never before seen for all levels, even the bottom. You know, if they if they reach a, a certain, you know, they get to unlock a mascot that, you know, everyone, you know, like, more rewards, better rewards. Turn people be like, yo, I'm not about to play this because I know I'm not going to win. Well, more guess what? Skills. Now you're able, you are able to win. All you have to do is just put in your sweat equity and you'll be uh -huh. able to do that. Now, again, I know this has been long winded. I have way much Tatum. more. I will do a part two. Of it. Every, you know, these these just basic template builds that everybody's going to have. Now, and the reason being, right, that. Um, I know I'm bouncing around, but the reason being, I feel like these template builds will be really great is because they can do nerfs and they can do updates. So I want you to understand that right now, the reason why you can't nerf the Trey Young escape, the reason why you can't nerf these jump shots, because they are all hidden behind a certain attribute that you have to have. Now, if you have template builds that are free to play and no one paid any money to on these builds, then at 2K, just like right now in Call of Duty with the card 98, they this is so clown. Y'all hear this? So they could just nerf the, co the community even more like that's just broken. Like, is the Trey Young broken? We can't sub Prime no more? Exclamation. Why don't they just test their game? Able to make nerfs and buffs, and no one's really complaining outside. Like, I spent money on this. No, they, just make, they might complain because their favorite gun is no longer being used. But in 2K, you make the, if, if it's free to play, then you make the, 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 the nerf to, you know, Trey Young or the Jamal Murray behind the back. Guess what? The community's not going to be in an uproar, right? Other They'll still be in an uproar because they wanted to do that move. And don't you got to buy template builds? Wouldn't it still be being nerfed? Am I tripping? Gabriel, shut the flow. Am I tripping? Don't you got to pay for template builds? Like, with how he's explaining it? So why wouldn't they be mad if you nerfed the animation they bought the build, right? If you, if you got preset animations and they nerf some of your animations because it's preset, wouldn't you get mad? Like, appreciate you, Kel. Favorite rec YouTuber streaming. What's good, my guy? Kel, you said, damn, bro, you only respond to negativity. It's not true, you stupid. I just read your message. 
gotta give me a second, dumb is wrong with you stop whining three multiple chats you sound like a ho have some fine once your message read and shut your lame out of goofy nigga. phone with you have some fried be like hey did you see my message can i get a sec to read your message nigga? i'm reacting to a video talking about ideas like shut your little lame up what's wrong with this nigga? wait no you wildin nigga. tighten the f hold your patience nigga. you on your phone crashing out new <laughs> He didn't read my message fast enough at 2 a.m. You lame ass. Yo, boom, boy. You a fan. What the f you doing, man? The f happening into this world? Come on. Nigga. The f wrong with you? You ain't robbing. Sh I'm unrobbable. You not robbing. Sh got back, boy. Tighten the f. Other than the fact of the uproar of just like, yo, you just killed my favorite animation. But it's not gonna be like, yo, I just spent all this money, you know, two hundred dollars to make this build, and you just killed Jamal Murray. You see what I'm saying? That's the reason why I feel like you need to have template build. Hey, y'all, click the video on the screen. Y'all wanna see my last NBA 2K25 video, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.